It's California Living. With Samantha Cortese. Sramdantha de Cortaliza. Samantha Cortino Jr. Sammy Lynn Corvette. Featuring Shrimpampa Cortese. And introducing Robert Malibu Bobby Puente. It's California Living. You may know California is losing a house seat because of changing population. While still the most populous state, growth flatlined over the last 10 years and did not grow at the same rate as the rest of the country. People aren't California dreaming like they used to, and yet housing prices are through the roof. Oh, goodness. As reported in the LA Times earlier this year, Los Angeles County had by far the greatest net loss due to migration of any California county. More than 74,000 people left LA County. Wow. Some of those people, celebrities. We may envy them and scoff at their decision to leave, but don't go slamming the door on them. Their taxes and industry pay for a huge chunk of our state's revenue. There's a study commissioned by Otis College of Art and Design shows the state's creative industries support about 2.7 million jobs, generate about 209 billion in labor income, and provide an annual $650, $650 billion boost to our Golden State's economy. In Los Angeles County, creative industries account for about 16% of all jobs in LA County. So today, three homes of celebrities who are moving. They may be moving elsewhere in the state, but they can be counted as those leaving LA County. Okay. First, we're gonna go to one big, beautiful California compound, situated in the most sought after Go for it, Robert. Highly esteemed, guard-gated community. Oh, ooh, hey, ooh. in Malibu. This is the Sarah Retreat. Hmm. The compound has a total of 11 bedrooms, 13 bathrooms. Yes, two separate homes on one lot. Several living rooms, offices, theater room, bonus rooms. Honestly, all the rooms you can My think goodness. of yeah. on this huge yeah. compound. 16,000 square foot. Uh, a square feet of living space. It's a total of four acres. There's also a guard house, a guest house, two pools, two spas, court, gym, lounge space. The oh celeb purchased this six bed, seven bath residence in June of 1989. Whoa! For $3.4 million. That's wow. according to public record. What a deal. Now it's listed for $25 million. Whoa. What a deal. Woo! It was pulled from the market in February, but who is selling this estate? Dang. Why was it pulled from the market? It was too high? It might have been too high. They maybe have sold it uh, off the record or they were working on some sort of deal, but that was in February of this year. Who though is uh. selling this huge Malibu estate? I do want to point out, not even on the water. $25 yeah. million dollars for this huge compound. Dang. I almost wanted to say George Clooney only because like a lot of the aesthetics reminded me of like tequila and I know he's <laughs> got like the Casamigos yeah. thing. But having purchased it for millions of dollars in 89, I think is too early for Clooney. Okay, okay. I don't think he was that big back then. So I think this is gonna be somebody who's enjoyed a celebrity lifestyle for a for, while for quite some time or it comes from family or it comes from money true true or comes from money comes from family um um it, honestly sam you, you show us big houses like this uh -huh. and i'm usually wowed and awed by it um i'm, I'm not gonna lie i find this house boring i would i wouldn't pay 25 million for this it does lack a little character in the decor it's quite Very simple. And it's yeah. just super big and like I just I feel like I get lost in my own home. Like, you know, it's not something I'd want to have. Well, have. do you guys want a hint? Yes. Of course. He has worked with a California governor. A and director. He directed Ooh. my favorite movie. Oh, got it. Oh uh oh, that fast? This is James Cameron. James Cameron! Robert, the man let's who, see the uh, answer. The man who saved Okay, fine. 
It's James Cameron. Yeah. Wow. $25 million for this compound out in Malibu. Uh, James Cameron, I don't know if he found a buyer, was waiting to pull the trigger with that buyer, or what's going on negotiation wise, but the $25 million compound pulled from the market in February. Wow. Okay, Moving on. All right, hold on. Sorry. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. 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 That's all. That's all I okay. wanted to show you guys. That was a lovely see. little ditty. <laughs> was that South Park? That was South Park, I yes. Well, yes. You, you knew it well enough to knew they weren't going to say I anything know, bad. So <laughs> that, I, the worst, like, 10 seconds is yeah. when Robert pulls something up from South Park. Also, <laughs> really cool of James Cameron to stop by the studio. In uh, yeah, he filled there. in on yeah. the old set. Yeah. Uh, it was really nice of him. He's very tall, so his head almost hits all the lights. Whoa. But, you know, he helped us out with lighting afterwards because, of course. Very cool. Uh, I like how, he's, uh, how James Cameron did come also before remodeling. A yeah, time. old yeah. studio, uh -huh. nice and close. <laughs> this celeb got a lot of people talking with this house. Are you ready to pay $8 million for a prefab home? Yes. Yes. A yeah. prefab <laughs> home. <laughs> this is in the Beverly Hills Post Office. This is actually nice. Originally listed a year ago at $11 million. Didn't quite get a buyer, so now it's on the market for $8 million. They bought the property in 2015 for $2.8 million and finished the house two years later. Wow. The home received an award in excellence from the LA Business Council in 2018. It's six modules that come together, creating five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. It's an L-shaped home, has an infinity edge pool, a cold plunge, a sauna, so mm. who do you think would prefab a home in the Beverly Hills post office? This place is sick. I like this place. Yeah? Yeah. It's cool. It's classy. I don't mind it's prefab. It's chic. It's prefab. It's uh, con environmentally conscious. It's got Partly a constructed off-site, partially finished mm -hmm. on-site. So prefab, prefab award-winning in LA. <sighs> I don't think this is right at all, but I'm just going to throw this out there. I'm going to say Gwyneth Paltrow. Interesting. Interesting guess. With no hints. So you just, you yeah, just I'm, got, I'm surprised you're not waiting for a hint. I know. Well, I see you're going to supply a hint. Can I reserve the right to change my answer yeah, after we get the hint? That's fair, because you right. guess without a hint. So. And we're not playing for banana peel today. Yeah. So. Robert? Um, uh, Mila Kunis? I just. <laughs> OK, OK. <laughs> Emmy nomination for his most oh, memorable his. role and ex-husband of a former comedian and Golden Globes host. I don't like associating Oof. people to their relationships or ex-relationships, uh -huh. but that might be a way you know this person. Most memorable role. Most memorable role. Was an as, as an ex-husband of a no, former? No, 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 two separate clues. Oh, his most. He was nominated. Oh. Nominated for a role as an Emmy nomination for his most memorable role. Oh, got some it. Okay. Uh, would call it ooh, biblical. <laughs> not even. Not Mel even Gibson. No, 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 no. That was a bad clue. Uh, most, his most I memorable mean, role is so it's a TV. Is this a, a character TV star? Is also a book of the Bible. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I got it. Hamsters running. I got it. Uh huh. Uh, I think I got it. Okay. <laughs> oh is no, it, no! Is it? It's Will Arnett. Is it Will Arnett? Show us the answer. Okay. It's Will yeah! Arnett. Yeah! Wow, Bobby. <laughs> Will Arnett is uh, looking to sell his Beverly Hills post office prefab home for eight million dollars. As I mentioned, didn't find a buyer at eleven million, so they brought down that price to eight. Hold on. Did you use biblical reference because of his uh, little his, thing as his, he came back as God on Arrested Development? No, his oh. character's name was Job. Oh, that's <laughs> right. His character's name was Job. Or but God. do you remember his little magic God. trick, though? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, yeah. okay. Yes, he <laughs> or he's in the stone. Or uh, excuse uh -huh, me. Yeah, excuse yeah, yeah. me. Illusion. <laughs> Illusion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you got Will Arnett and James Cameron. Bobby's killing it. We'll get it. Man. Lastly today... They purchased the home in 2013 for $4 million. Now this actor is selling his loss, oh, I'm sorry, Los Feliz home for 5.75 million. The home is 5644 square feet in the Oaks section of Los Feliz. Look at this house, it's a long video, so I just want you to be able to see it. 
described as a private zen 60s compound. There are views from downtown to Los Angeles, mm -hmm. uh, downtown LA to the ocean in every room. The master bedroom is upstairs, three separate bedrooms downstairs. The estate features a separate one bedroom, one bathroom guest house. Ooh. And whose is it? All right. So I don't know. Okay. I, I, I don't know if this person had it decorated like this, but uh, uh, I saw a, a Bruce Lee I did see that. poster. Yes. I saw a bunch of skateboards on the wall. Yes. A uh, pinball machine there. There's kind of like a cool hip aesthetic. I will worldly. tell you, I believe that's the real estate agent. Okay, good. Um, I do believe this is the person's stuff inside. Okay. So you're on the Hoax. right track. I saw Hulk sport. Okay. Again. I don't think this is right, but I'm going to throw this out there and hopefully with the hint. Is there a hint on this one? <laughs> I'll have to come up with one. <laughs> Maybe we'll do better. I'm going to say Matthew McConaughey. Interesting. Okay, okay. Robert, would you like to place any guesses for our last home in California living? Ooh, Kevin is submitting a guess. Johnny Knoxville. Oh, that's Ooh, a good, good guess. guess. Good guess. Kevin. Saw him at Black boys. Market in Studio City. One of my few celebrity sightings here <laughs> in LA. Tom Arnold? I don't know. Tom, Tom Arnold. Arnold? Yes, avid skateboarder. What? Tom Arnold. <laughs> Continue on with the video there, Robert. Because uh, I think there may be a clue in some of the... Shoe size? No, yeah, that would be a clue. Let me Max tell you, the shoes are probably a nine. Okay, so big guy. So, okay, so Tom Arnold? Arnold no. Size nine, that's a smaller shoe than me. That's a smaller shoe than me, too. There is a gym. Okay. Not a great gym. So this person... Is a workout? Oh, is there? There's a Joker there's thing there. There's a Joker. There. This person may have had to work out for some roles. Pinball. There's a bunch of movie ben posters Affleck? there. Ben Affleck would skate. I, could, I would see him skating. Baywatch. Okay. Oh, there was a Baywatch movie poster. The, the, oh, there, there's Seth right oh, there. I oh, saw this Seth. Is, Seth. Oh, Rogan? this is this is uh, uh, Zac Efron. I saw a Neighbors poster and I saw. Uh, the Baywatch poster. He was in both those movies. That's true. I, That's I, true. I feel like he would have the vanity to why, put his uh, own poster. Yeah, why would he have? Uh, what do you home. think so? <laughs> this is Zac Efron, your boy. Let's find out. Don't tell me Bobby gets three out of three. Bobby gets three yeah. out of three. <laughs> wow. so Zac Efron. Living in style. Living in style. Yeah. So he recently moved to Australia, as basically mm, everyone knows. Right. And so he's selling the house. It's been up for a few months, and they just lowered the price by about $225,000. So didn't get a bite, looking to sell at about five and a half What a million. good deal, $225,000 off. I have that spare change here. <laughs> I, um, I think it's really funny that you use this picture here. This picture is the one used for memes for everything. Like when your mom tells you to wash the dishes and you're just like, yeah. <laughs> I purposely chose that one because he's recently been criticized for his appearance. And it was either that one or him as Troy Bolton making a shot in High School Musical 3. <laughs> so I chose to remember the Zac Efron that I personally loved and adored. And that was HSM 2 and 3. Um, Fun and flirty and cute, and that was California Living on your Thursday, April 28th. Awesome. Good job, that was, Bobby. That was so fun. You yeah, barely thank needed you. the hint, I don't though. think we've ever had a perfect score on California Living. That was yeah, a perfect score, Bobby. Yeah, pretty good. Swept. Didn't have to reveal without guesses. I know. Uh, the you, best part you of that... You go ahead and take that banana, Bobby. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's all I ever wanted. <laughs> Uh, I was going to say, I think uh, if Zac Efron were here, he'd be offended that you think he has a, si a size 9 shoe. <laughs> Have you seen it? I, I will not elaborate any further on why well, I believe. That's kind of cute for a guy, a little small foot, so. I think he's a perfect size. He's probably like 5'8". My head would rest perfectly on his shoulder, probably. 